guys, welcome to the Cobra's Den. Now, this one is a little bit special. I was very, very fortunate to be invited down to Chard's last week. And I went down there and I met up with Lawrence Chard, who started uh, Chard's, one of the biggest bullion dealers in the UK. And I was shown around uh, their beautiful site and I was blown away absolutely blown away with what they had there uh they were like a family um i mean loads of different people working there but everyone was so polite and so kind it was an absolutely amazing day so the first thing i want to do is thank the whole team at chards for giving myself an amazing amazing day now when i went down there I was shown everything from a little studio room, an interview room, um, down into uh, a part called the World uh, World Coin uh, Room. And in there you have just coins upon coins upon coins, which have been built up over years. And I said to them, look, I would love to go in there and spend a whole day in there just looking around, which they have said would be absolutely fine. But this video um, is going to be about a couple of coins I held, which were just amazing, just really made my day. And then I will be releasing another video of an interview I did with Lawrence Chard. So, first off, everyone who knows me or has been following me a while knows that the complete coin from the Queen's Beast is my absolute favourite coin of all time. And everyone out there has got <clears throat> a coin they absolutely love. And I know this one may be a bit common compared to many others. But what I actually saw at Chards was by no means common at all. But it was a completer coin. Have a look at this. Hey guys, now I am absolutely honoured. I am here at Chards and I have been given something to unbox. And this is not just anything little, um, this is a massive piece. Here we have the Queen's Beast 2021 UK Gold Proof One Kilo Coin. I am chomping at the bit. Let's open it up. So as we take off the outer cardboard cover, we get the beautiful standard raw mint black cardboard box. And we take that off and our foam to take care of their usual wooden boxes. And as we open it up, we have the COA just there, we'll have a quick look at that. And this is number 15, and I believe there was only 17 of these made. So very, very low mintage, and for a very good reason. There's not gonna be many people who's gonna be able to afford this. Now I might take this home with me today. I have to uh, remortgage the house. Uh, but it is a possibility because, as a lot of you know, this is my absolutely favourite coin. And here we go. Wow. Guys, that is the one kilo completer coin in pure gold proof. And we have a plaque at the bottom that says the Queen's Beast. And I'm gonna to have to lift this coin out and show you it closer. <clears throat> wow. Uh, I can't really explain how I'm feeling holding this right now, guys. This is absolutely immense. And as a proof coin, the detail is immaculate. The reflection obviously is massive. And I haven't got Shard's beautiful studio equipment to take away all that reflection. But that is a gold one kilo completer. And I am very honored. And I thank Chards very much 
for letting me have a look at that. Wow, and there you go, a one kilo gold completer coin. And uh, that was £80,000, or is £80,000 on their site. And I said, well, what can you let me have it for? And they went £75,000. And I thought, I really want this. But there is no way in the world I can afford it. I'd have to remortgage my house. Um, it's a beautiful coin, but you need some real, real money to be able to get that. And it's not just because of the price of it, but you are locking away 75 to 80,000 pounds into one gold coin. Now, the first point is, if you had to move that on in an emergency, you didn't have enough money in the first place. Uh, so if you've got the money for that, you'd never have to move it on in an emergency. But if eventually you wanted to sell it, your market is going to be very small. We are talking top tier uh, people who will be able to afford that as an actual coin just to have in their collection. £80,000. But the grin on my face was just immense. And again, I want to thank everyone at Charles for making that possible. The coin, uh, which was my favourite coin, and I got to hold it. Absolutely immense. But another coin, which is also one of my favourites, is the Great Engravers 2021 2 ounce Gothic Crown. And I managed to get this one in a PF70 Ultra Cameo. So I was very pleased at that. And then suddenly, as we're sitting at the table, I open up a little box. And then this is what I saw. And here we have a beautiful 10 ounce Gothic Crown in gold 24 karat gold absolutely stunning piece look at the detail of that and as we turn it round we have our queen elizabeth this is a 2021 coin and i feel absolutely honored to hold this one of my favorite coins now that is absolutely stunning as well a 10 ounce pure 24 carat gold gothic crown i mean what a day what a day that was absolutely amazing and i saw so much more so much more one of the things i've discovered is that if you are looking for a particular coin and you can't find it it is always worth giving charles a call they have an immense amount of coins um, and not all of them can be put on the website, but they have them all logged, which means if you phone up and say, look, I'm really desperately looking for, I don't know, let's say a Gothic crown, Great Engravers 2 ounce Gothic crown, they will be able to look it up straight away and let you know if they have one in stock. So that's a great bit of information that you can use if you're searching for that one coin for your collection. But again, as I said, there will be another video coming out with the interview with Lawrence Shards, who is an absolute legend when it comes to knowledge about coins, bullion and collectible gold and silver. He's been in the trade 64 years, so look out for that video, which will be coming soon. Once again, I want to say a massive thank you to all the team at Shards, Chards, sorry, um, for one, making me feel so welcome um, and showing me so much. I will be going down there again at some point to take in all the stuff that I couldn't take in the first time. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. This is the Cobra Stacker signing off from the Cobra's Den.